Well, many of you have reached out to us asking about the side effects of the COVID-19 vaccines. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit is taking action for you today, uncovering what you can do to minimize vaccine reactions and why experts say symptoms are actually a good sign. With about 4 million people in Florida being fully vaccinated, some are experiencing side effects. A few people will have no reaction after getting the COVID-19 vaccine, but if you do experience symptoms, doctors say it's a good thing. You should be happy. It means that uh, you're really, your body's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And chances are you're getting a good immunity up for the uh, against COVID-19. According to the CDC, some of the most common side effects from the COVID-19 vaccine include pain, redness, or swelling at the injection site. Body aches, fatigue, and fever can also occur. Doctors tell me making sure you're well rested and hydrated before going to get your shot can help prevent these symptoms. We all feel better when we're well hydrated, so this isn't the time to go on a fluid strike, but really try to over overdo it with fluids, you know, to the point where if one's urinating or when one's urinating, that is a clear color. Though the CDC does not recommend using over-the-counter pain relief medications prior to getting vaccinated, they do recommend them if symptoms develop after the shot. About seven hours after I got the shot, these symptoms came on and I had a lot of, uh, you know, some muscle aches and pains in my shoulder and in my chest and felt really fatigued. I went home, took a few Tylenol, went to bed and got up the next morning and ran uh, up 5K, uh, 5K. If you're looking for a more natural approach, Dr. Berger recommends cooking with or taking curcumin supplements. Dr. Yunash says side effects shouldn't be used as an excuse to skip vaccination. The side effects are really, really minor um, and uh, compared especially to what would happen if you got the infection. And um, the side effects disappear within a couple of days. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.